Hi, and welcome to Type 2 Water Testing. I'm Emmy Lucas from the Grand Traverse County Health Department, and I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process and how to test your well for coliform and E. coli. It's called Type 2 Testing, and it's a mandatory process for any public water source that's going to serve 25 or more people per day. First, you're going to choose your tap, and it can be any number of water sources at your establishment, but preferably one that's maybe used more often than others. Now that you've chosen your tap, you're going to want to remove the aerator if it has one. Just pick it up, put it off to the side for now. Then, run the cold water. Let the tap run for at least a couple of minutes. This is going to allow all the water that is just sitting in the pipes to flush out. That way you'll be sampling fresh water directly from the well. The next part of the process is cleaning the faucet off. And what you're going to want to do is use a combination of bleach and just regular well water. Fill your glass up about an inch with bleach. Next, you're going to fill the rest of it up with water and carefully so you don't splash yourself. You're going to use this solution to disinfect the faucet simply by dipping the faucet in and out of it about five times. You're going to want to let that sit for a few minutes. This is a great time to get that paperwork done that's going to be sent into the lab. Once you've filled out the paperwork and the bleach has now sat on the faucet and disinfected it for about five minutes, you're going to want to run the water for about five minutes. And remember to use cold water, not hot. Now we're at the final step of taking the actual water sample. First, you're going to want to adjust the water to a steady flow, about the diameter of a pencil. Next, you're going to want to open up your sample bottle. But before you do that, make sure to wash your hands. If you don't, there's a good chance that the bacteria on your hands could contaminate the sample. Next, remove the seal from the sampling bottle. Then, unscrew the cap. Keep that in one hand, face down, and the bottle in the other. You don't want to touch it to anything because that could contaminate the sample. Next, fill up the water to the 100 milliliter mark. As soon as you're done, cap immediately goes back on. If the sample tap you're testing is a drinking fountain, you'll need to clean it with a spray bottle filled with the same bleach and water solution. And as far as the actual sampling goes, you'll need help for that part. That way, someone can turn on the water while you hold the sample bottle and cap. Once you've collected the sample, place it in a cooler with ice or ice packs to transfer to the lab for testing. Then all you have to do is make sure it gets to the lab within 30 hours of taking the sample and you're all done.